Yeah, what's up? So, I decided I need to start making more videos. Uh, I don't have the time to do the editing, and I'm, I'm not that comfortable on camera. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, my other videos. I, I don't make the best videos. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to, to have the time to do it, but the only way I'm going to ever get better is to keep doing it. And so, uh, a lot of people tell me, hey, why don't you make more videos? You do some cool cars and stuff. And, and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll try. So... Here goes. I, I do Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I usually post a lot of pictures on there. But uh, here behind me, this is my Murcielago. And I'll give you a little rundown on the story from it. Um, about four years ago, <clears throat> a customer brought us this car. Had a, a Reventon kit on it. And uh, he wanted to build a, a custom concept car on it because he wanted something totally unique. He has plenty of other exotic cars. So we took this entire body, well, we took this body, which had a Reventon kit off. Um, interior glass, lights, wheels, everything. We took all that stuff off, and uh, I put all this stuff in a shipping container for about the last three years it's been sitting in a shipping container. Finally got around to, uh, to getting this thing out and having a chassis made um, got a chassis that was a blueprint to the original car um, and basically it's identical it's got the two shocks in the front six in the back the differences are this has Corvette Z06 brakes on it and it has QA1 dual adjustable coilovers two in the front four in the back same setup same suspension as the original car Brakes are actually better than the original early model Mercies. Uh, six piston uh, calipers, front and rear, and then I have the additional emergency brake caliper, uh, which actually works with the factory e-brake. Uh, you know, it's got the factory working power mirrors, folding mirrors, it's got, we added the um, LP670 vents in the fenders, and here's the super expensive headlights these are glass um <laughs> if you guys don't know these are about uh seventy five hundred dollars used on uh on ebay online and um if you follow my instagram i actually had these apart for about a year and a half and i finally uh decided i'm gonna put them back together because i got part of the body on i took them apart like again because they, they weren't glued they were just sitting there on, in storage cleaned them real good clean them flawless, put them out in the sun with the uh, adhesive, the, the black urethane around the edges. And I come out and one had broken. And uh, there's pictures on my Instagram of it. I wanted to cry. <laughs> but uh, luckily, uh, a guy, a friend of mine now, that his name's Frank, he's, uh, <clears throat> he's on Instagram. He's uh, up in Canada, he hooked me up with uh, a lens. So thanks, Frank. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, up here, this is actually all the original front clip from the car. Uh, since we didn't need it on the build, we actually took it off. We cut it off and we welded it to this chassis. Um, so this, this chassis here, uh, this is the original carbon fiber front, front deck lid, trunk lid, whatever you want to call it. That's a Corvette Z06 master cylinder going to be a little bit of a headache because it's taller so the factory power uh, wiper motor is not going to fit there so I have to move it here and extend the arms it'll still work factory uh, it's just going to take a little bit of uh, fabrication and work I have all the upholstery from this the original upholstery so this will all be factory 100% up front um, even even has the uh, factory headlight washers still that will be working and uh, let's see that that windshield is insanely expensive. Uh, I'm not even going to talk about how expensive that thing is, but it, it's absurd. You could buy a car for the price of that windshield. Um, and uh, back here, Pacific uh, Pacific Motors. Thanks, guys. You guys gave me a really good price when we talked on the phone. Uh, these are the original carbon fiber bat wings. Uh, the original body that was on this when I got it was the Reventon uh, replica. 
it had fiberglass uh, bat wings that they actually came all the way up to here and it ran down like this. The problem is on the other side, when they were down, you couldn't get gas. It would it would cover it would cover the uh, it cover the filler here. It used to come across like this. So if these ever broke, I wouldn't be able to get gas. And that's such a such a nice looking gas cap. Anyways, uh, sorry about that. Like I said, I'm not very good with the filming. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, guys. Um, in there, you've got your LS motor with your Porsche transmission, custom-made axles I had made up in uh, North Florida. Um, you know, factory brake light. This isn't even bolted in because uh, pretty soon the turbo and the intercooler and the exhaust is going to start getting done. The fuel system's all done. You got two two gas tanks, two 12 gallons versus 125 on the original car and. Uh, I was going to do 125 on this side and then I decided I think it would be better if I do one on each side it will balance things out. Um, so that's where we are with that. Uh, I'm debating on I'm putting these in on the back here as you can see. Uh, it doesn't have them but I, I drew, a, drew a little circle there. These are the American uh, side marker lights and that's a european bumper so i may or may not put them in i haven't decided yet i probably will um but here's the interior um you can see my factory uh factory shifter has to go to the uh the poor short throw shifter there that's mounted in the console and then i replaced all the factory buttons with the billet aluminum led halo lights they look really good uh, except for the power window switches and the factory power uh, mirror switch. Uh, the rest of the interior is all still in boxes. have to put it in bottom of the dash, hook up the AC, put the stereo in, the carpet, all this stuff. I have it all. I just have to do it. Um, this is the inside of uh, the, the door. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, I had to figure out all the wiring in order to get this wiring to work and uh, I think I figured it out so now I'll have working power windows power locks folding mirrors power mirrors uh, light under the door but everything everything will be factory and uh, I'm pretty excited about this car it's gonna probably make about 650 horsepower it'll be two-wheel rear-wheel drive um, versus four on the real car but the beautiful part is I can drive this thing. It's going to get really good gas mileage compared to the original. And uh, I'm going to drive the heck out of it. It's not going to depreciate a dime. Uh, you put 10,000 miles on a real Murcielago, it's probably going to break a lot of stuff. And it's going to cost you a ton. Um, most everything on here is going to be stuff I can fix or any mechanic shop could probably fix. So... I guess uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, I really want to try to start making more videos. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm not good at it, and I don't have a lot of free time. So I'm gonna try to just make videos and hopefully get better at them to where I don't need to do a lot of editing. And uh, if you want, comment below. Let me know things I can do to improve my videos because I know they're not good. Um, but I'm doing. I'm doing what's difficult and sometimes in life doing the difficult thing is the best thing to do because you learn from it you learn the most from mistakes and uh, that's the only way to get better is to just get uncomfortable so anyway uh, i'm going to post some videos on the ferrari soon and uh maybe some other cool projects i'm working on and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to subscribe to my channel my name is dan and uh thanks for watching